In the exam, there may be reference to confidence levels. You only need to understand that this means how confident the business can be that the research results will be accurate. For example, using a statistical calculation, firms can work out whether their research results are 68% accurate or 95% accurate. Now we've looked at the content, let's have a look at the type of exam questions you might be faced with. Firstly, you might be asked to explain why a company has chosen a particular type of research. This could be why they've chosen primary over secondary or qualitative over quantitative. It's important to define the term used in the question to show your understanding and gain knowledge or content marks straight away. You then need to think carefully about the business in the case study. Does the business have a small market research budget? If it does, it may not be able to afford to do primary market research. Do they need the information quickly? If they do, then maybe secondary will be better. Does the business want an in-depth understanding of what image their product portrays? If they do, then primary will be more suitable. You might be faced with a question like this. To what extent does market research guarantee success for a firm? This is a more general question and is looking for you to show evaluation skills. As soon as you see to what extent, you know it's an evaluation question. Because evaluation is the highest level skill, it also means that the question will have marks available for content or knowledge and application and analysis. Have a go at writing the essay plan for this question. Only spend a couple of minutes on it though. Had a go? Your plan probably includes some of these points. A definition of market research. Reasons why market research can lead to success. Better customer understanding, it's easier to tailor products to customers' needs and allow the marketing mix to be applied effectively. It can keep you one step ahead of the competition, development of new products, reasons why market research alone cannot lead to success, ability to act on findings required, importance of correct pricing, competitor actions, economic changes, Evaluation points. Success depends on money available, skill, sample size. Can only help up to a certain point. It's really good to start with a definition so that the examiner can award content marks straight away. The next thing to do is consider the structure of the essay. Because it's an evaluation question, using the trigger to what extent, you need to provide a balanced answer. In this case, it will be ways in which market research can lead to success and ways in which market research can't necessarily lead to success and factors other than market research which are important. Market research can lead to better customer understanding. The consequences of this are that products can be tailored to customer needs and therefore may sell better and the marketing mix can be applied more accurately and so be more effective. By showing the consequences of any ideas, you'll be gaining analysis marks. The second part of the essay will provide balance in your answer. For example, market research can only lead to success if the firm actually acts on the findings. Factors like pricing or other marketing mix aspects can affect success just as much as research. Also, the research will not tell you what your competitor's next move is or what economic changes may occur. For example, an increase in interest rates may reduce disposable income and therefore spending on your products. What's really important is that you can show the examiner that the success of market research very much depends on how much money was spent on the research, the skill of the person designing the research and how many people were asked. You also need to show that other things are important, like what the competitors do.